Hi, I got an email from Salesforce today indicating that the GDK local formats will be retired on the 1st of February 2024. So that's with our spring release of next year. Why is this interesting? Actually, this is very interesting because you will be switched over to a totally new way of formatting uh, from one day to another if you don't take, take action today. So if I follow the link, I will get to this page and this page clearly explains that there is a new way uh, or not a new way, but a new organization uh, called the ICU that actually captures how currencies, addresses, names, values must be formatted depending on the place on the world where you live and the language that you speak. So they call that a locale. A locale is a combination of the country where you live and the language that you speak. So you can, for instance, speak French in Belgium or French in France, and still both can have a different way of formatting, for instance, currencies, dates, times, and so forth and so forth. This was always supported by uh, the uh, Java Developer Kit, so that's called the GDK. And this has been always been up to date, but that recently uh, the Java Development Kit does not do updates on that anymore. And they are more and more depending on this new organization called the ICU. So definitely look at your Salesforce environment and check if you have a setting like this, enable ICU for local formats, because if you have that, it's best that you immediately switch it on and do not wait until uh, January or February 2024 until the spring release is uh, actually uh, released and installed. So what are some differences? For instance, if you would be uh, speaking German in Germany, then you would see that there is not a lot of differences just in the formatting of uh, some uh, some dates. Uh, where uh, you have, for instance, here it says PST, and here it will say GMT minus eight. So that's the uh, the, the the Greenwich the Greenwich time, let's say like that, um, minus eight hours. Uh, for instance, if you would live in the Netherlands and you would search for uh, Dutch in the Netherlands, so I speak if you speak Dutch in the Netherlands, then you would see that there is a big change because any currencies that are negative, then of course these currencies will now be formatted correctly. So today you will see a minus at the end, which is kind of strange. That's the old way of doing accountancy. But of course, the new formats, the new standards are with the minus in front. If you would uh, speak uh, Finnish. So you would see that there's also minor changes over here, but it stays reasonably more or less the same. Not a lot of uh, differences. And then, of course, yeah, if you would speak French, French in Belgium, for instance, then also here you would see that there are some uh, differences by the ways that uh, you have the minus and the uh, formatting. Here you would see that the formatting has a dot for the thousand separator, and here it will have a space for the thousand separator. Well, yeah, it's uh, how you want to uh, format it. That's uh, that's clear. If you do French in Canada, you would see that you have uh, in between brackets, and now it's much clearer. It actually has a minus sign. Important in Salesforce, but of course we are aligned. Huh? PDF Butter is aligned with Salesforce, and if you're generating documents, you actually want to get that uh, power of the new formatting directly inside your documents. So any existing documents will actually be created with the with the GDK, huh? the legacy uh, formatting, but you can easily switch that to the ICU formatting. So you just have to go to the metadata, then switch on ICU and click Save to Server. From then on, everything will be stored in the ICU formatting. So any generation that you do, it will use the new ICU formatting as it should be. Also cool is that any new doc config that you create will automatically be done in the ICU formatting. Why? Because this is the most up-to-date formatting standard that you can have, and we want to align with that most up-to-date standard. So uh, go into your doc configs, find them in the metadata, switch them from GDK over to ICU, and make sure that you are up to date with the latest standards.